Hey everyone, Dan at Ochico Bushcraft. Well guys, this is the challenge that many of you have been waiting for. I have out here with me today, the Topps Armageddon and the Essie Hunglis, two monster choppers that I have now used both out here. Fantastic performers, the best two large chopping blades I have ever used. In fact, if you remember earlier this year, I actually had custom sheath made for my uh, Essie Hunglis. And at that time, as I was using it for, um, I did shelter and fire on a couple videos for you guys, some other things, it became my favorite survival knife as of to date, my favorite large survival knife. Um, something that I would want to have with me in an emergency. Well, I had never used the Topps Armageddon, and I have to say, I really, really liked it as well. Uh, so much, in fact, that I couldn't tell for sure which one I was going to like better without bringing them out here and putting them head to head. So that's what we're going to do. So, both 1095 carbon steel, both have the uh, black protective coating on, on the blades. Um, both have a blade length of just right around 10 and, in, uh, 10 and a half inches. And both are uh, quarter inch thick steel. Actually, I might be wrong on that, guys. I don't have the specs with me, but I can tell you the back of the tops is definitely thicker than the back of the SC, if you guys can see that. And I'm sorry, I, don't, I didn't bring the specs with me. For some reason, I thought that they were both um, quarter inch, but even if they're listed that way, they're definitely not. The uh, Topps Armageddon definitely has a thicker back to it. Weight is pretty equal. I think the Topps is just maybe a hair heavier in my hand. Um, although again, that's hard to tell. They're so close. Uh, biggest difference, I think, is in the handle styles and in uh, the design of the blade. With the Armageddon having that curve up on the front, puts more weight out in the front. And this finger choil right here, which allows you to really choke up on the blade. Two things that I liked when I tested it out. But I want to put these head to head. So, first of all, um, I don't like the factory handles on any of the Essies that I have, so I've changed them all out for the uh, G10 handles from the Knife Connection. So this has um, the green and black G10 handles, Knife Connection, extremely comfortable in the hand. They have that nice palm swell. And uh, I'll tell you when I do this, it does slip just a little back here but very little, it's, it's still, and it's very, very comfortable in the hands. I think a guy with big hands would really like this handle. The tops, because I have this finger groove up here, when I put force into it, it doesn't slip at all in my hand. It holds more secure, although without the palm swell right here, it's not quite as comfortable. So as far as handles go, the aftermarket G10 versus the tops, um, it's pretty equal. A little more comfortable here with the palm swell, but more secure here with the finger. So I suppose I would have to choose the security a little bit over the comfort there. So I would call that a toss up on the handles. Okay, let's put these two things to work. Let's uh, get some material up here. Get right to testing, chopping. Wow, stuck in my stump already. Oh, there we go. The Essie is just an amazing chopper. Amazing. <clears throat> Tops. Stuck in the stump too. <laughs> so, both fantastic choppers. Let's move up here where it's a little bit thicker. Nice. Very nice. Mm. 
no significant difference there, guys. They're both doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Only thing I can say on this bigger where I swung harder, the SE just slipped in my hand uh, without any place to hold my finger secure. My hand actually slipped a little bit up the handle. So there's that blade security with that uh, finger groove on the tops. Um, definitely I would make it a little bit safer, a little bit more comfortable. <clears throat> very nice very nice choppers guys okay so far equal other than like i said that that finger groove right there is really giving me some security <clears throat> little delimiting emergency shelter Nothing to it with the tops. <sighs> Nothing to it with the SE. Well, guys, we're still running dead even. Okay. Let's try. I got two pieces of fur here, small fur, but extremely filled with knots. So I don't know exactly how that's going to turn out. Um, let's start with this smaller piece and uh, start with the SE. See what happens here. I know my good old SE batons very well, but so did that tops. See if we can tell any kind of a difference on batoning. Like I said, that was a uh, very knotted up piece of pine, and the next piece is even bigger, and it's got more knots. Let's take the tops, split this one. No difference there. I mean, really, they are running dead even head to head. Okay. Now this one, it's bigger and got even more knots than the last piece, so. Try this out. No problems there. No problems at all. <sighs> Guys, I'm telling you, I mean, for chopping that I was doing, for batoning, you, you really feel like you're using the same knife. I just... So far, everything is heads up equal in performance. I cannot really distinguish between the two at all. Something smaller. Switch back to the tops one more time. Well. Yeah, I just, uh, I can't really tell any difference, guys. So far, I mean, I would have to say, other than the handle being more secure with the tops, you know, I will say here, actually, I do feel one little difference. Let me do something here, guys. Something's just kind of caught my attention on that last go around here. Yeah. So I say when I'm swinging in a hard chop, something out in front of me, like maybe I was delimbing, I'm going to guess this curve right here 
which brings more weight out in front of the tops Armageddon, whereas on the front of the Essie, you actually lose a lot of weight right here on this big long sweep and then the sweep down the top. There's more weight out in front on the tops. And the security, that combined with the security of the finger groove makes it feel faster in the hand. It has um, slightly more of a machete feel when you're doing quick chopping. I can, I can snap my wrist and bring my wrist back faster. It feels, like I said, more machete-like. The Essie, I can't get as, as quick of a snap on my wrist and it, it, uh, it almost feels more hatchet-like. So there's a slight difference in feel between the two. I mean, I with this weight out in front here, um, lighter back here, I feel like I'm using a machete with, and I can get a real quick snap of the wrist. And on the SE, I can't get as quick of a snap of a wrist. I got a little bit of slippage going on back here that I just can't stop. It's riding back and forth in my palm like this. The tops isn't doing that, but anyway, I feel more like a hatchet. You know, if you if you take a hatchet and a machete, there's a dramatic difference. Well, it's not so dramatic between these two, but there is a slight difference. One feels more machete-like, this feels more hatchet-like. And for doing something like delimbing, chopping out in front, um, the machete feel is a better feel. So, as far as the way they were performing so far, I would say that they're even, but security in the hand, I'm not going to get a hot spot because that's not rubbing up and down on the back of my palm. And that quick flick of the wrist, it's uh, easier to work with, more comfortable to work with and easier to work with. So I would say both performing pretty close to equal, but the tops is more comfortable in the hand to use and for that reason it doesn't feel like i need to put as much effort in because i can get that snap um, i have to give the tops the edge so i'm kind of surprised but i am so let's see if i can't find something here dry enough to make some shavings with this is some pretty wet wood and some pretty knotted wood I've got a piece of fat wood in my pocket, if nothing else. Trying to just get a few curls or some fine shavings off. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll show you here in a second. So. Here's where there might be a big advantage on the tops, and that is this finger choil. Because I got my finger clear up here in that choil, and doing that, it is just super easy to get some nice curls made. The Essie. There's really no safe place to rest my finger up here. It's right on the edge of the blade. If I put it on this flat spot and one little slip and I'm going to have my finger wide open. So I've got to hold my finger clear back here, which is a full inch from the edge of the blade. And that's going to just create more work here and make it harder. Now, in spite of that, I'm still getting some nice curls. So performance wise, I'm still getting the nice curls, the nice shavings for a fire, equal again. The performance is equal, but the ease of doing it and the comfort while doing it, being able to choke up on this blade is uh, the edge goes to the tops again. Is the last thing I wanted to do guys for you, I know I got some wood left laying down here. If I can uh, oh, do a little bit of carving of a notch. I want to try a notch with each. OK, 
Okay, I got my SE. And I'm just going to make a simple 7 notch. Now I can't choke up, I can move the blade up here. And I've made notches with my SC before. And it does a good job. You know what, that just, that's just super easy. That is just super easy. Um, I have no complaints at all in the performance of the SE. It has held its own against the tops in performance. But again, here we go. I'm gonna choke all the way up on the choil. Well, let me tap a groove in here first. Let's see, we'll do it up here. Well, actually, I'll go right here. Okay. Choking up into the choil. And You know, I have to tell you, carving a notch, even choking up with that choil, is no less comfortable using the SE than the Armageddon. That's just, that's just even. This is my notch with the SE my notch with the tops. That's, that's, that one surprised me because I thought carving the notch would be a lot easier um, with the finger choil, but it's not. It, uh, that SE just handle is so comfortable that even not being able to choke up. Boy. Wow. Yeah. All right, guys. SC Hungless. Tops Armageddon. Closing thoughts. Awesome knives. Two best large chopping knives I've ever used. You saw them side by side doing the exact same things. They both batoned. Uh, pretty much equal. They both chopped right up the poles, pretty much equal. Delimbing was equal. Carving the notches, even with the finger choil on the tops, uh, was equal. Making the curls, now that was definitely easier with the finger choil. I'm not having to apply as much pressure as carving a notch. So I'm just going real easy. Being able to have my finger up in that choil right there making the curls is a little bit easier with the tops. Um, I guess I would say the difference comes down to the handle. Number one, just being able to put my finger in here when I'm chopping causes my hand to be so secure that I'm not getting any movement back here against my palm, whereas with the SE, I'm getting a rub. It's moving up and down. So if I was doing extended chopping, I'm going to have to put my gloves on because I'm going to get a hot spot right here. The other thing would be just blade design where the SC loses some weight in the front and ends up with more weight back here. The top loses weight here where it's, the blade isn't as wide and gains weight up here, which makes it feel like more like a machete in the hand. As I said, I'm getting that snap. I can get a quick snap in my wrist and I cannot get that same snap with the SC. It's more of a heavy chop. I feel, it's, just, it's just like putting a hatchet, a short machete and a hatchet side by side. Chop, 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 and then more of a machete with a snap, snap, snap. It's just quicker, and because of that, it's less work. If I had to sit here and do a whole bunch of chopping, um, I just can tell that it's going to be less work with the tops. Clear winner on performance, 
no. You cannot go wrong with either one of these. I love them both. I'll continue to use them both. Only difference, big difference, I guess, and it's not that big of a difference, but it is a difference, as I said. The handle, the options of the handle here, security, here, comfort, the weight of the blade out in front, I guess you'd call that blade ergonomics, uh, the top skits, the nod on that. So there it is, guys. Tops Armageddon SE Hungless side by side comparison. Both I give five stars. Both I would recommend. But uh, ergonomics to the style of the blade and comfort in the hand, being able to get that rich snap, slight edge goes to the tops. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video.